Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Evo Land 2. In the previous episode, we tracked down Reno to the long forgotten, or long abandoned, Professor Giro's laboratory where we defeated him, but in doing so unleashed the energy to open the lab itself, which prevented, which, yeah, not prevented, presented the risk of someone else finding the device that could cause a great calamity. Instead, we decided to go in ourselves to try and take down the device to ensure no one could ever use it. And in the process, had to deal with, well, random encounters. Verifying request to access confinement one. Initializing Turing test. It's Pong. All right then. Shouldn't be too difficult to win. Hopefully. Ah, oh, jeez, how many points do we need on this? For those of you who don't know, the Turing test was essentially a test designed to determine whether or not a machine could fool a human into believing it was actually a human being. Well, to a degree. That's not the exact quote of it, so don't quote me on that. Human intelligence recognized. Eh, yeah, yeah. It's gonna let us in, and unfortunately, at least based on what I've read from the guide... Wait, what's this over here? Oh, never mind, just a dead end. Thought it might have been a secret. Unfortunately, we've still got more random fights. But with a new... aspect to them. The grating looks to be electrified. It might not be safe. How will we avoid getting electrocuted? We just have to wait till the energy gets weaker before stepping on it. Yeah, this is essentially the same thing as the lights, except this can actually damage you instead of cause you to miss. Some new enemy here. I'm not too sure about what it does, but the fact of the matter is, I'm going to be skipping these fights so that you guys don't have to sit through them. I'm still going to have to deal with them, but so be it. Anyway, see you guys once the fight's over. Alright, they're down. And it looks like killing them off got rid of the energy to the grating. Now, it's yet another minigame to play through, thankfully not Pong. It's instead a game of Snake. Who here remembers that game? Eat the bits, get longer, until you eventually hit yourself. Or in this case, get another six bits. Oh, come on, I hit the right button. I mean, who here has seen the gif of that perfect game of Snake? One where it ends up just coming back in on its own tail? That was amazing. At least to me. Of course, it's also a sign of somebody who might just have a little bit too much free time on their hands if they manage to figure that out. But who am I to judge? Okay, you're gonna have to take the long way around to get this one. Be damn straight, I won. And here we have yet another battle. Noticing a pattern yet? Because I sure am. Alright, another battle beaten and another mini game to play. Let's see what we got this time. Space Invaders. Man, this is just retro games galore, isn't it? Okay, really should take care of the ones at the bottom first. Okay, didn't expect to get that one the first time around. And it's not looking that looking like there's another battle 
between here and the next console. But I could be very, very wrong. And what should be the last random encounter to deal with for the rest of the dungeon is now complete. One last game. At least according to the guide I'm using. Fact man. Nice. Just gotta get all the dots and don't get eaten. Yeah, I was hoping you wouldn't turn around so quickly. You're gonna want to try to not use up the power pellets too quickly, otherwise you'll be left largely defenseless when you really need them. Okay, so far so good. Haven't really been put into a position that I'm in danger yet. Grab this last one and get that, 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 and then get this last line of pellets. Now, how do we go about? Ah, there. And it's on a panel, which didn't activate a battle. Though I get the feeling this one will. All right, hit up the save point move over here, which will give us another battle. Okay, that should be the last of the fights, not including the inevitable boss fight. Plenty of pots for us to smash here. Hopefully be enough to heal us, because I'm not sure if we have another potion. No, we do, but I don't want to waste a red potion with that much health left over. And it doesn't matter. Because we have a save point right here. Oh, what a cute little critter. Maybe we should free it? I don't think that's such a good idea. Yeah, Velvet's got the right idea on this one. Here it is. What in the world is that ghastly thing? It looks like a giant slimy brain must be the result of an experiment gone terribly wrong. I just hope this isn't a horror movie because then we're all goners. Only the hero survives that kind of thing. Yeah, boss fight against a, with a bunch of enemies. Apparently those metal creatures have decided to protect it. Okay, start this off as you always do. Have Kuro focus on attacking the brain. Let's see, Bina. This is going to use a spell we haven't typically used, which is Confusion, which can turn the enemies against each other. Keep in mind, though, if they do get hit, their Confusion will wear off. Or if they attack one of their allies, it'll wear off. Let's see. Use Confusion again. And Velvet start getting their boosters off. I'm not sure if I even have to worry about the electrified floor because of the fact that Kuro is just running up the center. Well, shoot. Of course, it can get that attack off before I, uh, or just as I get a heal going. Oof, that was some good damage. Alright. Deal Velvet before it does another one of those psionic mind blast things. Just gotta keep an eye on her mana levels. Best to have her stop attacking for now. Right, get another booster off on Kuro. And get a slash going from Fina. Hopefully if we kill the brain directly, that'll get rid of the rest of them. But I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't. Ooh. 
Not that it matters anymore, because we got a incredible critical hit. Just barely didn't get a level up, but oh well. Another one of these things. Haven't seen one of those in a while. July 16th, 949. Subject X is resisting more effectively than expected. Her power is visibly diminished, and the energy thus removed is now stored within the weapon. I will loosen my grasp on her in order to question her. End recording. Uh, something tells me that was a bad idea. So that's what the weapon is. How is anybody supposed to move that anywhere? It's energy. Pure energy. Take it from whome or whoever Subject X is. We haven't found Professor Giro, but he sure didn't seem very nice. Why would he do such a thing? I don't know. But maybe... Maybe he had his reasons? No, Fina, I don't think he did. Maybe he wanted to protect something? Or someone? Protect someone? I don't know if that really justifies such a... risk. When you love someone, you do all you can to protect them. And you, Fina? Who would you protect? Koro. He's protected me ever since we met from all kinds of things. So... So I'd like to be able to return the favor. But for that to happen, he'd have to be in danger. Best not wish for something like that. That's true. With all this traveling back and forth in time, I'm starting to mix up cause and effect. The world was so much simpler before. Everything had a beginning and an end. You couldn't change what happened. You could only regret things. I wonder what will happen when we finally destroy that weapon. What will become of the future you visited? All the people who lived there. I'm especially worried about Menos. He's still there, stuck in a time that's not his own. What will happen to him? Menos, Prince of Demonia. I still struggle to believe you actually met him. Do you realize that thousands of pages... That thousands of pages were written attempting to explain his disappearance? I would have loved to meet him. Now, how do we destroy this thing? There has to be a way. Everybody freeze! Oh, these idiots again? How the heck do they keep surviving? If you thought you got rid of us, think again, because we are... The Imperial Special Forces! Give it up, you're surrounded. And this time you actually are! You'll have to beat us to get away. Don't give them any ideas. Personally, I don't want to face them one bit. They look pretty darn strong. Give it up, without resisting. What do we do? Want to give them a beating? Kuro? What's going on? Kuro? Are you alright? My head... hurts bad. Kuro! I remember that weapon. I have to. Kuro, no! Don't! Weapon 001 activated. Annihilation imminent. Please evacuate immediately. Kuro, why did you do that? Everything will be destroyed because of you! Give me, Fina. This voice in my head. Who are you? It's all over.
the end. No. It's just the beginning. Really? That cliché line? Mom? Is that you? There, there now. Just relax. You've been asleep for almost nine hours now. I had a horrible nightmare. I dreamed I went back in time. It was terrible. Well, you are safe and sound now. Back in good old 1049. 1049? Hey! Who are you? You're not my mom. A name. It's been a while since I needed it. You can call me... Saris. Saris? I have a feeling we have met before. I was just a young girl. And here's the famous Koro. Reunited again after all this time. You know Koro? Then maybe you can help him? Help him? I already have. When we first met, you helped me escape from the Imperial Guards. I aided you in kind by saving you from the weapon's explosion. The weapon! It's horrible! The great disaster did happen. We were supposed to prevent it. But Kuro... Not everyone can escape their destiny. Fina? Where are we? The weapon. It exploded and then... Velvet, you're okay. What a relief. The weapon blew up. And then... Sarah saved us. I think she brought us to the future. The future? Since we're traveling through time, I'd rather be at the time of the Magi. Yeah, not exactly a choice. Saris, is that your name? You seem... unique. Neither human nor demon. My father was a demon. My mother a human. Well, I think so. My memories are all blurred. Amazing. I don't think there's ever been a case like yours before. You truly are unique. Let me examine you. I... Velvet! Sarah saved us from the explosion. You should really be thanking her. Sorry, I am fascinated by mysteries and anything out of the ordinary. Hey, speaking of mysteries... Koro! Are you okay? Got your wits back? About what happened in the weapon room. We don't need to discuss that. Kuro never wanted it to happen, and it's not his fault. We just have to use another Magalith to go back to before that moment and stop the weapon from exploding. Great idea. However, that might create a space-time paradox. I'm not sure what will happen then. Well, it's our only shot. Sadly, it's not possible. Wait. Wait a minute, did that say it's not impossible? Yeah, whatever. I can look back I can look back on it in the recording. Magalis were designed specifically to prevent that sort of thing. If you return now to what is your present, you'll always arrive after the weapon is triggered. No! That can't be. My village! My family! May I ask how you know this? Only the ancient Magi knew about knew how the Magaliths operated. I... I don't know. I have memories, and sometimes I see things that are yet to come. For the Magaliths, I know it won't work. How fascinating. It's possible your heritage bestowed you with abilities no one has ever seen. 
As for the weapon, there is another way. Really? Oh, you're awesome, Saris. It won't be that easy, but with the magic key, we can indeed accomplish this feat. The magic key? One of the three legendary magi artifacts? You know where it is? It's rather complicated. The magi created the key as a kind of safety. It was supposed to remove something from the fabric of time, but it was far too dangerous. So they broke it and gave each fragment to a leader of their time. For a long time, I have been looking for these fragments. I think I know where they are but I will need your help to gather them. So that's it. I never thought that time itself could be changed. Well, not before meeting Kuro and Fina. So, if we use the magic key to remove the weapon from time, it will have never existed, and it will have never have been activated. Exactly. That's perfect. Let's go find those magic key pieces and wipe out that heinous weapon once and for all. I do hope the consequences aren't worse yet. Kuro, I have memories of you as well. I think we... share something. Oh, I almost forgot. Take this. It's important. You got a control terminal, a system that looks super technologically advanced. Apparently the Magi were fans of the NES. This item allows you to journey through the ages. With it, you can activate the Magaliths. Use it to find all the fragments. I will open a pathway for you all. Kuro, you'd like to know about the pieces of the Magi key? Yeah, why not? Information about which fragment? Uh, let's go Fragment of Fire. Have you met the pirates before? Their hideout can be found in your present, near a... volcano. They possess the Fragment of Fire. Alright, let's go for the ice. When the Empire ruled the land, before the frozen continent began to melt, there lived fierce Vikings. They guard the Fragment of Ice. Let's go Fragment of Nature. Far to the southwest lies an island. And on this island is a timeless forest. And deep within that forest, you'll find the Fragment of Nature. Fragment of Earth? Demons locked in a fr- yes, that demons locked a fragment away in their most sacred temple. But its location was... lost when Demonia was destroyed in the Great War. And lastly, the Fragment of Time. There is said to be a special megalith in Windy Valley. It supposedly grants ag that grants access to the Fragment of Time, the one most shrouded in mystery. Well, that's all I need. To locate the fragments, you'll have to travel through time. Use the controller I gave you on a megalith. I wish I could join you, but I must return. But I must... Return to me if you seek to know more about the fragments. Well, still got some time left. Beam me up, Scotty. Really? Really? Okay, so we are currently in the future. Fair enough. Let's see, didn't I pick up some mana at some point? I did, and I could probably stand with restocking my grief potion. So, while well, we still have some time left... Let's head up to Granny BB, power up Velvet, get a new green potion, and then I think it's time we reacquire an old ally. Ah, what a fine young man you are. What can I do for you, darling? Yes, yes, mana, blah, blah, blah. Oh, wonderful, blah, blah, blah.
What else can I do for you? You can make me a new potion. Well, specifically a new green potion. Yeah, nothing else you can do for me. Let's see what Velvet's new level 2 attack is. Not bad. Ooh, I just remembered something else we should probably do before going to get Menos. You remember the guy who talked about the uh, getting a prototype for his flying machine? Well, we know just where to pick up such a device. Quite a fascinating machine. I have to wonder who manufactured such a thing. You think we'll need it later on, Koro? Oh yeah. I agree. Sometimes I wonder where you keep all this stuff. Yeah, me too. Unfortunately, we can't use it as it's pretty much busted up. But we do know someone else who can use it. But that's going to have to wait, because we still have someone we need to pick up. Now, can we just walk through and... Yes, we can. Okay, go across. Now, am I going to have to... Yes, I am. Don't know why, but whatever. Whoops. I'm only theorizing. It is equally possible we will end up in my era, or that of Miss Fina and Solid Snail. But as Miss Fina would say, I fear we have no other choice anyway. Exactly. Off we go, Koro. We won't know till we get there. And I don't want to stick around in this future. They've disappeared! Why did I fail to leave with them? And what am I to do now? Well, pretty much nothing except wait a few seconds. Hey, Menos. Menos! Am I glad to see you again? Solid Snail! Miss Fina! I thought you had vanished forever. That must mean the Magalith did not serve its purpose. Actually, it did. It worked just fine. But it's a long story. Where should I start? I can hardly believe it. My son. Uh... A terrorist? And the weapon? But I mustn't worry so. Reno is no longer a child in this era, so he surely must have fled before the w explosion. Yeah, sure. Perhaps I shall see him yet. I too was rather surprised to see them materialize out of nowhere. And when they told me everything... <clears throat> Sorry, and when they told me everything, I had trouble believing it as well. Who would believe someone claiming to be from the future? I wasn't truly convinced until after speaking with Saris. Saris, can we trust her? She saved us from the weapon's explosion. And she told us how to collect the shattered pieces of the magic key. I am well aware of that, Miss Fina, and she has my deepest gratitude. Without her, I would never have seen you two again. But my father always told me that everything comes at a price. Why exactly did she come to your aid? That much I would like to know. In any case, her knowledge about the Magi can't be questioned. The sparse descriptions of the Magi key I studied confirm her explanation. 
That changes nothing for my son. On the contrary, if we wipe the weapon from the timeline, Reno will never have thought to try activating it. A sizable chunk of history will be rewritten. To be perfectly honest, the very thought of it frightens me. How can we be sure there won't be unintended consequences? Well, I'm not going to sit around doing nothing. There's always a risk, no matter what you do in life. And frankly, it can't get much worse than this. I agree with Miss Fina. Regardless of what we change, the situation can only improve for me. For us, definitely. Perhaps not for everyone else. But then I suppose it is worth a shot. I really hope we're doing the right thing, Koro. Quick, let's bring the pieces of the magic key to Saris. No, it's not going to be that quick. I'm pleased to be helping you once again, Solid Snail. Yep, Menos is back in the party! Now, I know we're out of time, but there's just one last thing I want to take care of before we end this episode, and that is to visit the Smithy of the Past, because for a while now, we've had the... the, uh... Oricon Ore to make the best armor in the game. And this is what the Isle of the Past looked like. This guy's going to be important, but not yet. Would you like to set sail? Yes, I would. Head for Sierra Harbor, and then we're going to head for the Smithy. Hey, Hefeso, sir, whatever your name is. I wasn't paying attention to the name of the place. You waste your time bothering me, blah, blah, blah. Come on, do you not remember us? Let's see. Oricon armor is probably going to be our best bet for this. And it's complete. Oricon armor, the ultimate armor. Every adventurer wants to see this under the Xmas tree. Mighty fine work, if I do say so myself. Please come back and see me if you have other items that need forging. Oh, believe me, based on that list, there are going to be other items that, for, that, uh, that are going to be forged. But, with that, guys, I think I'm going to end this episode off here for today. If you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.